Hey everybody, Matt and Dave coming hey. to you from our offices uh, here on behalf of Thrive Church. And we just wanted to give you an update on what's going on in our world and in our community and in our church in relation to uh, the coronavirus right now. Mm. We've had an uptick in cases in our community and in our state, and that breaks our heart. It's mm. it's uh, something that we want to make sure that we are doing our best to care for our people, to care for our community, and to show love to the people around us. And so uh, with all of what's happened, with school closures that have been happening, with local businesses uh, about to be temporarily closed, with restaurants being affected, we know that this plays uh, a big part in your lives and in our life as a church. And so we wanted to give you some updates on where we're at and what our next three weeks are going to look like through this uh, pause that's been asked by the Department of Health and Human Services. Right. So because of some of the new state guidelines, some of the things like that, we're really going to take this opportunity to take these next three weeks uh, and, and really just kind of pause. We're, we're going to go ahead and and move back to more of an online format. We're going to take this opportunity to really reach out to our Central Michigan area, take uh, a chance as a church to, to really meet some very practical needs through the holiday season of what's happening in this area and just model the fact that we are for our Central Michigan community mm -hmm. in the midst of what is probably one of the most difficult seasons that we've, we've ever experienced. So, And especially heading into a holiday season, mm -hmm. we know that this is going to have some really good ramifications, uh, and by good I mean really challenging ramifications for a lot of families, not just in our church, but in the Central Michigan area. We know that uh, some families are going to have a temporary loss in income. We know that some have already been hurting uh, through the, the last few months that have led us up to this season. And so rather than focusing our energy and rallying our attention into making a great large gathering on Sunday mornings, we are going to resume our online campus only and we're going to focus our energy, focus our attention on meeting the practical and the tangible needs of people in our community to show that we truly are for this community. We're living by the same guidelines, we're living by the same recommendations, and we're we're just going to get out there and serve and, and be present in our community through this. And one of the things that we, we realized even last time that we went into a quarantine, that's obviously not where we're at right now, but this idea that the church has never been about a building. The church has never been about our programming. The church has never been about, it, it's been about a body of believers who, who gather together, who meet the needs of one another, and who point people to Jesus. So that's really what we want to take these next three weeks uh, of just scaling back to, to really do, to really refocus our attention on what God's doing in this area and, and meet some tangible needs of the Central Michigan community and beyond. And, and let me be clear, this isn't us putting uh, the brakes on ministry. This isn't right. us stopping what we're doing as a church. This is us continuing what we're doing. Mm -hmm. In fact, it might even be accelerating what we're doing to serve our community and to mm -hmm. really be engaged with what's going on. The only thing that pause that, that pauses is our Sunday gathering in person at the Mount Pleasant campus. But the online campus will be alive and active. Mm -hmm. We've learned how to do that really well over the summer when we were forced to, and we're going to continue to just do the best we can on Sunday mornings and the best we can to show love for the people who need it right now mm -hmm. by serving and loving our community. So tangibly, let me tell you what that looks like. For the next three weeks, we are online only. Mm -hmm. ThriveChurchMI.com. Uh, you can find links to uh, our Facebook Live on Sunday mornings or to YouTube Live, and you can join in to a real, authentic online community through those on Sunday mornings. Uh, our One Youth Programming guidelines say that it's not wise for high school students to be meeting together right now. And so our high school students are going to be virtually meeting over the next three weeks as well for One Youth Programming. Uh, our Thrive Kids is going to be online. We've got some absolutely incredible programming that's been going on the past several months on Thrive Kids. Kids will still be able to engage in that online by going to the Thrive Kids Facebook page, mm -hmm. uh, and, and all that will be right there as well. And our small groups, we've got some really great uh, opportunities to go virtual with our small groups to stay connected. Uh, 2020 has, has given us a whole bunch of new technology it, to, to stay in community with people through small groups. So we're going to be moving those to an online virtual format and, and just encouraging people to continue to meet through these next three weeks, continue to encourage each other, continue to support one another. Yeah, absolutely. And the health guidelines that have been laid out really even encourage you to pick a family to stay mm -hmm. in close contact with, to keep that community going. You don't have to live in isolation. You were never made to live in isolation. We don't want you to live in isolation. So find one of those families in your small group, stay connected to them, uh, continue to physically meet with them if you can, but let's keep those to a small gatherings and help honor mm -hmm. people, help honor the guidelines that have put in place for us. And one of the things that we're very aware of during any Thing like this is the mental and emotional health ramifications of, of going into any type of quarantine or any type of pause. Uh, and so we want to make sure that you guys know we're, we're here for you as well. We're going to be, our, our staff, our elders are going to be reaching out one-on-one, -on -one, making phone calls, sending emails, connecting personally. Uh, but please, there, there are multiple ways you can engage with us. Info at thrivechurchmi.cc is a great way to send that in. We also take prayer requests all the time or through our Facebook page. We want 
to know where you're at. We want to know how you're doing. We want to know how we as a church can best be serving you during the season also. Absolutely. And if you're just struggling, pop into our offices. Mm -hmm. We will still be here. We will still be accessible. Uh, we're just going to try to limit the large gathering for a, a temporary time to make sure that we're doing the best we can to keep our community safe and to honor uh, the, the recommendations that have put before us. So continue to reach out. Continue to let us know how we can help. And here's the exciting part. We are going to put several initiatives in front of this church and in front of our community over the next few weeks of how we can really tangibly love these people in Central Michigan well and to love you in Central Michigan well and beyond. And so be ready for uh, some surprise things that we're going to throw out there. Be ready for ways that we can uh, bless this community to bless organizations that are stepping up and are helping meet some critical needs right now. And so we will roll those out over the next couple of weeks uh, as we get a firm plan on how we want to uh, make that happen. We've also got some uh, really fun kind of things planned right now for our Sunday morning experiences. Uh, so make sure you're tuning in that we're going to be doing just like we have been Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. Uh, there's be all kinds of different ways to engage, all kinds of new things that we're going to try out, uh, and I think some, some really fun, creative elements that we're going to get a chance to roll out in this new online format. It so. should be fantastic. Guys, let me remind you of this. God is still on the move, mm -hmm. and God is still at work in your life and in this community and in this church, and we are excited to see where he leads us and how he works through this temporary pause in a Sunday morning action, uh, but, but by continuing on to serve and to love and to take care of God's people and to take care of this community that we love so dearly. Uh, so let's rally together. Let's really uh, lean into the season, serve well, love well, take care of your families, uh, and take care of this community by the way that we uh, lead and help people find and follow Jesus through these next three weeks. And make sure you keep it in touch. Thrive, we love you. We want to stay connected with you. Uh, we're going to weather this thing together. We believe God has got a plan for this, uh, and we're excited to see what he's going to do during this season. Absolutely. So stay tuned for more updates, but join us on Sunday morning, 10 a.m., thrivechurchmi.com. Facebook, you can find us uh, at Thrive Church MI or look us up on YouTube. We'd love to stay connected to you over the next few weeks. Yes, sir. We love you, Thrive. See you guys. Yeah.